The overall goal of this procedure is to identify transcriptional starting points and RNA cleavage sites in vivo from bacteria using a fluorescent primer extension reaction. This is accomplished by first growing bacteria such as E. coli or S. aureus and isolating the RNA molecules. Next, the RNA is reverse transcribed using specific fluorescent primers and reverse transcriptase, resulting in cDNA fragments. Then, DNA or plasmids are isolated from the bacterial cells and a fluorescent Sanger sequencing ladder is created from the DNA template using a sequencing kit. Finally, the cDNA fragments and sequencing ladders are separated and simultaneously detected on a polyacrylamide gel using an automated gel sequencer and compared to one another. Ultimately, fluorescent primer extension is used to map the five prime ends of RNA molecules up to a one base resolution. The main advantage of this technique over other methods such as RACE or radioactivity-based primer extension is the rapid identification of the five prime ends of RNA molecules as the detection happens simultaneously during electrophoresis. The sensitivity is similar to radioactivity-based primary extensions, but enables laboratory personnel to use this method without the need for radioactivity radiation safety training. We have successfully used this fluorescent primer extension technique to investigate the RNAs components of toxin antitoxin systems in staphylococci. Demonstrating the procedure will be Christopher Schuster, a grad student from my laboratory.